Hello, Vanderbilt. It's I, John Rice. I'm here with Monica from Vanderbilt Off-Broadway to talk about a very exciting show coming to campus. Welcome. Thank you. Now, what is the name of the show? So, so they know. It's got a, I've seen posters for it, in just in case they haven't. We're doing the Drowsy Chaperone. A Drowsy Chaperone. Mm -hmm. Now, is this a drunk chaperone driving around, or is, this, or is, it, is there more to the premise? Um, the, there is one character called the Drowsy Chaperone. Okay. Um, I wouldn't say the plot revolves around this character, but she is pretty central to the story. Um, the story itself is about another character uh, called the Man in Chair, who is pretty much just sitting alone in his apartment, um, listening to his favorite musical. Um, and as he's listening to it, he kind of talks the audience through it, and um, the musical comes to life in his apartment. So all the characters, including the drowsy chaperone, just kind of like show up and start tap dancing. So gotcha, gotcha. It's a so we've got a very lonely, hallucinating man. Yes. It sounds like an awesome recipe for a show. And I, I did happen to notice that one of the cast members for this show is another Morning View cast member. Mm -hmm. Is this correct? Mm -hmm. So who, what, who is uh, the, the majestic Sam playing within this? Sam Malik is playing a character called Aldolfo, who Aldolfo. is, um, <laughs> yes, the <laughs> most painfully stereotypical Latin Lothario you can imagine. Um, he so. spends uh, he spends most of the show trying to seduce uh, beautiful ladies. So does he? Yeah. So, so it's like Sam out on a regular night. Yeah, pretty much. Except we just put out an accent. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Does he yeah. pull off? Uh, I assume he does, but how well does he pull off the? Uh, Latin Lothario look. Uh, pretty well, I would say. Um, the mustache definitely adds, mustache. Uh, adds a nice touch. Yeah, Absolutely. for sure. Okay, so Vanderbilt, if, if you, you've seen him in The Green Bird with a gigantic tie and hat was not enough, you've got to see him with a mustache. <laughs> but sure. Absolutely. That's fun. Okay, so that's a very unique premise for, uh, for a show. Is, is that the kind of... Um, do you generally go for unique premises when you, uh, when you uh, search for shows to do? Or uh, what's like the way you select the works you work on, I guess, is what I'm getting at. Um, we are um, a community theater group, and so when we select a show, we select it kind of as a group. You know, every member of Vanderbilt Off-Broadway submits a show that they want, and then um, the administrative and artistic boards get together and kind of narrow it down and finally choose a show. Um, and the shows that we look for, you know, they can be anything. We've done, um, in just the, the four years that I've been here, we've done You're in Town, Nine, Reefer Madness, and now, um, and now The Drives of Chaperone are our four main stage productions. Uh, we do spring shows as well. But, um, you know, those are so, like, four totally different shows, so right. there's not really, like, a pattern that we stick to. I got you. But it's cool that you guys all uh, kind of, is it kind of a voting thing at the very end, uh, where you select it? Yep, pretty okay. much, yeah. That's a fun way about, about mm -hmm. doing it. Okay, and how long does it generally take to put on a show? Like, say you've got the show that you're about to go for, mm -hmm. how long does it take to actually then put it on stage? We choose the show finally in um, late March, early April. Um, and then I, as the artistic director, I get the script in, um, I got it this year in around mid-May. Um, and so I've been working on the show, you know, since May, so right. a long time now. Long time. I was wondering, I was mm -hmm. like, uh, what? Uh, and um, now do you guys have any uh, faculty that oversees you or are you completely independent? Uh, we have a faculty advisor who um, pretty much just makes sure that we don't, you know, get do something completely un in, under <laughs> heads, uh, yeah. in over yeah. our heads, so. You know, uh, you know, do that one. Well, geez, I'm forgetting the title of what, Spring Awakening or something like that. Or so, yes, some we are doing Spring Awakening are you? this spring. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yes. So. Well, that's, that's going to be, be that's going to be very interesting. Uh, I'm very curious how you guys are going to take on some of those scenes. Yeah, That'll it's going to be it's going to be an adventure. That's for sure. Um, we have uh, Vanderbilt Off Broadway is the the big organization. We have a big general and artistic board that does the main stage shows, which are always okay. in January. Um, like the Drowsy Chaperone, and then we have a smaller committee that works only on the second show, um, which this year is Spring Awakening. Spring Awakening, okay, and, so that'll um, be... If you're interested in auditioning for Spring Awakening, auditions are next weekend. Next um, weekend. Now, uh, what, what are the times and locations for said? Uh, I actually don't have that information yeah, actually, no, right okay. now, but um, publicity will be up soon. Flyers will be all around campus as soon as this weekend is over and we're done uh, with this musical, we'll turn to the next musical. <laughs> but um, if you like our Facebook page, Vanderbilt Off-Broadway, we have all the audition information up there. Okay, and is that generally the best way to get involved in, in the organization? Is like Pretty kind much. of trying out for a show? Yeah, trying out for a show. We also have a lot of people that are involved only doing tech. Uh, for example, I'm the artistic director this year, and my freshman year I was a techie. Like I've never been in a Bob show before. I just okay. got involved in the the backstage aspect, and then I um, just kind of worked my way up from there. So. Um, really good ways to get involved with Bob or to audition for a show, to sign up to do tech. Uh, we have all student musicians in the orchestra. Oh, very cool. Um, and just like getting to know Bob members and kind of like, you know, 
liking our Facebook page and learning about like our events and activities and things like that. So we had a lot of fun. Very good, very good. So that's how to get involved, Vanderbilt. And how yes. now the show? What are the times and locations for the show coming up? They're this weekend, starting tomorrow night, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night at 8 p.m. in Ingram Auditorium. Okay, so you heard it there, guys. Gotta Sam be will be hip thrusting as Aladdin Lothario. <laughs> We've got a unique plot, and of course, the great cast of Vanderbilt Off Broadway. Yep. Be there or be square. I know I'll be there taking pictures of Sam. Yep. Tickets are free for undergrads, and they're That's $5 right. otherwise, so no excuse not to come. No excuse. No <laughs> excuse. Well, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you I appreciate so much. it. Back to you.